اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولن ترد عنک الجہود ولن نصارا حتی تتبع ملتهم صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسان یفقہ قولی ریسپیکٹڈ ویورز اور لسنرز السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ The verse which I have recited is from Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 120. Allah says, وَلَن تَرْدَ عَنْكَ الْيَهُودَ وَلَن نَصَارَ حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ O Muslims, be vigilant that these Jews and Christians will never, never, never be satisfied with you unless you adopt their brand of religion. Either become them or make them like yourselves. There is no middle hope, no serenity, and no peace. Today, the topic is about the current situation of Gaza, what escalation has happened so far, the double standards of Western media, and on and on. And I will just share my views and thoughts on current affairs. You see, we do Islamic work and whatsoever our philosophies are must be pertaining to Islam and towards other sciences. You see, there are three kinds of knowledge in this world. Physical sciences, which deals with physics and all other things which are related to matter, which you can hold it, you can study, you can research and you can do many things by playing in your five senses. The other kind of science is metaphysical science which we call them ruh souls or something you cannot grab it you cannot touch it you cannot feel it in a sense of five senses yes but they do exist either you believe or not you cannot deny the evidence of such kind of knowledge we call them the ilm of arwah the knowledge of ruh or metaphysical sciences and the other one is the ilm al-abdan the knowledge of body of physical sciences there is a third kind of knowledge which we call occult sciences or double c u l t occult sciences now this kind of knowledge is very dangerous and this is what we are facing and only few people are able to understand grasp this kind of science in totality as per se. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, warned us 1400 years ago, Dajjal, Antichrist, that Dajjal will control overall the power of physical sciences and then he will manipulate it with some kind of occult sciences and produce the final result which we are seeing in today's era. Artificial intelligence, I will speak in a detailed way one day inshallah but not today but I will share some small glimpse of experience which I am feeling what this artificial intelligence has to do with Fitnai Dajjal. So, you see this kind of science is nowadays in the hands of Jews Freemasons, secret societies with the help of Dajjal because Dajjal is a trickster. He is having all the control of occult sciences which are jinn, shayateen we rather call it. And those shayateen demons or devils you want to call in the western system. Using them, they have their agents and those agents are working, sacrificing whatsoever they do to please Satan and they are doing it for many many years crippling or twisting, prostituting the religious ideas in Christianity as well as other religions for the many, many years I'm talking about happening secretly. That's why we call it secret societies. And now Jews, Israel, what they are doing, they are just making the final stage for the arrival of Masih Dajjal. They call it Mashkhiya. We call it Dajjal, the trickster, Antichrist, and the real Mashkhiya, which is Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, he will come, inshallah, he will descend down and he will kill Antichrist. 
this is not the topic. So, you cannot separate this kind of science with the physical science which we are facing all along. The current situation, can you believe it, more than 50,000 innocent children, innocent women, men, they got killed. For us, they were martyred, uh, they are martyred, but killed and nothing is happening. Nobody is moving and especially the Muslims. I don't want to talk about them. I'm tired of this all. Rather, I can say I'm sick of this all. They must be laughing on us. Jews are laughing on us, on our misery. They are putting salt in our wounds because they know that these people are helpless creatures. They are weak. As Prophet says, the time will come to you that they will come. Everybody will come to you and eat you like a feast on a table. And then you will be in great number. But the problem is you will be indulged in a disease. And what is the disease? Wahan. And that wahan means dunya wa karahiyatil mawt. Love of this world and detestation of death. Then Allah will remove the terror from the hearts of the kuffar against you. And you can see it. A Jew, a Jewish lad laughing on Muslims, abusing verbally, physically torturing them and nobody is doing anything. It is very strange and irony of fate if I see that how much power we got we Muslims. And you see, we are not united. The biggest problem with us, we are not united. Had it been for us to be united, the first point, this whole scenario wouldn't happen at all. But the thing is that they knew and they know that the Muslims are not united. Look at the European Union. They all act like one body and look at us, passport, visas, you cannot enter there. We, yes, you cannot enter here. You cannot enter there. What is happening to us? This is the point Salahuddin Ayyubi Rahimullah said, the day you will divide yourselves into different territorial zones, lines of demarcations, then each line or boundary of yours will be squeezed over the period of time. And you can see this is happening. We are divided into chunks, into nations, and we are not behaving like one people. And this is our great downfall has started. And there is nothing because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam already prophesied about this kind of misery which will gonna fall on Muslims. That and this is what the hadith. Prophet says that husband Naali bin Naal. Prophet says that whatsoever happened to the children of Israel in the past, the punishments, same will fall on you, O Muslims, as you join two soles of the shoes together. Husband Naali bin Naal. <clears throat> One is the nation of Moses, another is the nation of Muhammad وسلم, and both will go through all kind of ordealments before the day of judgment. Consider us now, how many times Jews got beaten in the past by Nebuchadnezzar, Alexander the Great, on and on, and then many people revived them, Cyrus the Great, Zulkarnan, or on and on, etc. They killed uh, many people, they got killed. Now same situation gonna fall on us as you join two soles of the shoes together. I said, why you wait for that? Why do we wait for that? Why can't we work? Why can't we give the collective message? You see the damage, the collateral damage, this all devastating situation we are having in Gaza. There is no forgiveness from Allah. Forget it. I'm telling you, there is no forgiveness for us. I don't know why are we surviving on the first shot, especially men. This is what Allah's grace on us. But trust me, we do not even deserve to live. And quality of life, I said, this is beyond even imagination. Why are we getting this all? You see, I learned in physics, when the tides of the shore, when the, when the waves of the shore are very, you know, subtle, or not moving much, or they're empty. So there is a tide in the other direction because the water goes there. 
creating a tide. So we think that there is no problem, but actually the tide is coming to us, every one of us. And if we do not wake up now, maybe Allah will reverse this damage. The only thing we need to wake up, we need to be united. We should be protesting. We should talk. We should open our voices. Prophet says that if you have power, if you see evil, if you have power, stop it by your hands. If not by your tongue, we can speak. We can speak. Allah has given us power of speech. We can speak. We can educate the Western people who are being brainwashed and programmed by these Jewish monopoly, this Zionism, and especially those slaves, wasp, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, who are just licking the boots of these Jews. We can reprogram their people, their followers, to see how much things are doing. It's very amazing. Jews, they, according to them, Jews consider Jesus Christ the son of Pandera. They call him bastard. Pandera was a Roman soldier, alleged, allegedly raped Mary, according to the Jews, astaghfirullah, and Jesus was produced. We Muslims, on the other hand, believe in Jesus, one of the mightiest messengers of God, and they call us Antichrist, and they embrace those people. This is what you call brainwashing, programming, flim-flamming, hoodwinking, subterfuging, tricksters, the jal. This is what says, see, they entrap those people emotionally and by showing them that you see this is all truth and the Muslims are bad. And this is started by Benjamin Netanyahu. He did this. He made a plan to attack Muslims' whole civilization. And trust me, my brothers and sisters, the reason all these things are happening because of our silence. And we are not speaking. We are not making agitation in the world as we're supposed to do it. Imagine that. I can't believe that this is what's happening. Ummah of Rasulullah, the daughters, our daughters, our sisters are getting killed. Children, man. Our children are getting killed by the enemy of God, Jews. Where Allah says very clearly that there is no hope with the Jews. In Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, verse 82 and onwards, Allah says, but there is a hope with Christians as some of them, they are not puffed up with pride, but with the Jews, no hope. Those staunchest enemy of God is killing our people openly on the media. And we Muslims having no issues with that. How can we accept that on the first point? This is what I, this is the thing which my mind doesn't understand. What is happening to us? Are we in a spellbound? Are we in a kind of a magic spell? What is happening to us, man? Why can't we speak with power, with dignity, with integrity? What is stopping us? This is the thing which my mind doesn't understand. And I can't sleep properly. When I see those videos of little children getting killed, I don't find any kind of things or any, you know, everything feels insipid. Insipid. Nothing titillates. Because when you see your own fellow men are dying, how can you? And imagine if this was happening to any European kid, any American kid, what would happen? They would have nuked you already. Americans would have nuked that nation up to now. If they see that their children are getting killed, and it's very strange with these American and European people, I'm talking about especially the white people, who think that they are very sensitive towards animals. They are, you know, loving people on planet. They are the fittest people. Every ideology and intelligence come from them. They have all the exposure of the world. You see how they treat their own animals, pets, how they domesticate them. If something happens to small animal, <clears throat> they react. Their own children, their own people. But when the Muslim children are getting killed, they, have, they are not moving. They're not behaving the way they're supposed to behave when their own turn comes. But yes, I do salute those people too. As many of them, you see more than Muslims, those disbelievers we call them, especially youngsters, this generation people, they are more indulging into protestation against the Israel occupation. And I salute them in universities of America, in Europe, 
I said they are better than us as they are opening their mouths and they are not terrified or petrified by any kind of forces. This is the reason why I love the Western system because they have positive point that they have a freedom of speech. They are not slaves like us. We are mental slaves to our nation. This is the problem. We are not free, by the way. Look at our own country, Pakistan. We are not free. We cannot even express ourselves. We are being ruled by I don't know who. Allahu alam. But the point is that those people have courage and, you know, bravery in them. And I salute that. But the other face is very dark. The people, they, the way they should react on these kind of atrocities, they are not doing so. So what is the solution? The solution is we have to be united. We have to open our mouths. We have to create a long term agitation. And there is no way to be to accept Israel at all. No way. But the things they are doing, as I told you, occult sciences, they are creating every ceremony, ceremony of menorah, sacrificing of those red heifer and on and on. They are completely under the plan and plan of this occult sciences into making physical sciences. Artificial intelligence is being produced. You can already see that the things that the artificial intelligence will do it as the jinn demons can possess the, mat the materialistic matter. The, so these technologies are created by that gold, silver, silicon, all these things. And then you can manipulate and put some spell and they can behave like real feelings, like human, real artificial or uh, general artificial intelligence. So the point is what I'm making here. Educate people, be warned and be vigilant. Tell to the people about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Tell to, to the people about Islam and tell to the Western people the brutalities the Jews are doing under the name of Holy Land. They do not deserve this at all.